Have you ever asked yourself, what would I do if I had a million dollars? It's a thought that often crosses our minds, isn't it? Daydreaming about that magic number might be fun, but it's crucial to understand the importance of financial planning, regardless of where you currently stand on the economic ladder. Whether you're a student saving up your allowance, a young professional starting your first job, or a seasoned worker investing for retirement, financial planning is relevant to everyone. It's not just about having a million dollars, but understanding how to manage, grow, and sustain that wealth over time. This video is all about personal finance. We will unpack the basics, discuss income and expenditure, explore the realms of saving and investing, and even guide you through creating your own personal finance plan. It's time to take control of your financial future. But before you can answer that million dollar question, you need to understand personal finance. So what exactly is personal finance? In simple terms, it's all about managing your money. Now let's break this down into four main components, income, expenditure, saving, and investing. These are the pillars of personal finance and understanding each of them is key to mastering your own financial journey. First up, we have income. This is the money that you earn. It could be from a job, a business, or any other source that brings money into your account. Your income is essentially the fuel that drives your financial engine. Next, we have expenditure. This is where your money goes. It includes your rent or mortgage, utility bills, groceries, and all the other expenses you incur in your day-to-day -day life. To manage your finances effectively, it's crucial to keep a close eye on your expenditure. Then, we have saving. This is the money that you set aside for future use. It could be for an emergency fund, a vacation, retirement, or any other financial goal you might have. Saving requires discipline and a clear understanding of your financial priorities. Lastly, we have investing. This is where you put your money to work for you. Investments can grow your wealth over time, helping you achieve your long-term financial goals. It's all about understanding the risks, rewards, and time horizons associated with different investment options. Now what's important to understand here is that these four aspects of personal finance are interrelated. Your income determines how much you can spend, save, and invest. Your expenditure influences how much you can save. Your savings decide how much you can invest. And your investments can, over time, become a source of income. In essence, personal finance is a balancing act between income, expenditure, saving, and investing. Mastering this balance is the key to achieving financial freedom and security. It's not about getting rich quick, but rather about making smart, informed decisions that will ensure your financial well-being in the long run. In essence, personal finance is a balancing act between income, expenditure, saving, and investing. Let's start with income and expenditure. These are the two most basic elements of personal finance. Picture your income as the fuel that powers your financial engine. It's the money you earn from your job, your side hustle, or any other income generating activities. It's critical to have a stable income as this is your primary source of cash for meeting your expenses, saving and investing. Now let's move to expenditure. This is where your income goes. Bills, groceries, entertainment and so forth. It's important to control your expenditure because without control, your income might be drained faster than it comes in, leaving you with little to no savings. So how can you increase your income? There are several ways. You can ask for a raise at your job, start a side hustle, or invest in income generating assets such as stocks or real estate. The key is to be creative, proactive, and willing to put in the work. But remember, just because you're making more money doesn't mean you should be spending more. This is where controlling expenditure comes in. Start by tracking your expenses. You might be surprised at how much you're spending on non-essential items. Once you're aware, you can start cutting back. For instance, could you cook more at home instead of eating out? Could you walk or take public transport instead of using a ride-hailing app? Small changes can add up to big savings over time. Another useful strategy is to automate your savings. Set up a direct deposit from your paycheck to your savings account. This way, you're saving money before you even get a chance to spend it. Lastly, consider creating a budget. This will give you a clear picture of your income and expenses and help you make informed decisions about where your money goes. Remember, the goal is not to make more money, but to have more money left at the end of the month. The key is to increase your income and control your expenditure. It's not always easy, but with discipline and determination, you can make your money work for you. Now that you have some money left at the end of the month, what should you do with it? This is where we delve into the realms of saving and investing, two critical pillars of personal finance that can set you on the path to financial freedom. 
Saving is the act of setting aside a portion of your income for future use. It's like a safety net, providing you with a cushion for any unexpected expenses or financial emergencies. It's also a way to accumulate funds for larger planned expenses like a vacation, a new car, or a down payment on a house. To start saving, you might want to consider setting up an automatic transfer from your checking account to your savings account. This way, you're saving without even thinking about it. Investing, on the other hand, is the act of allocating money with the expectation of generating an income or profit. Unlike saving, investing comes with a level of risk. However, it also has the potential for higher returns. When you invest, you're putting your money to work for you. You're buying assets like stocks, bonds, or real estate that can appreciate in value over time. Now, you might be thinking, but I don't know anything about investing. Don't worry. You don't need to be a Wall Street whiz to start investing. There are plenty of resources available to help you understand the basics. You can also take advantage of robo-advisors and index funds, which allow you to invest in a diversified portfolio without having to pick individual stocks. So, should you save or should you invest? Well, the answer is both. A healthy personal finance strategy involves a balance of saving and investing. Save for your short-term goals and emergencies and invest for your long-term goals and wealth creation. Remember, it's not about how much money you make, but how much you keep and grow. Saving provides stability while investing fuels growth. Both are essential for a prosperous financial future. Saving and investing are the keys to growing your wealth and achieving financial freedom. So, let's make our money work for us, shall we? So, you understand the basics of personal finance, but how do you put it all together? Just like a jigsaw puzzle, every piece of the personal finance picture must fit perfectly into place. And that's where a personal finance plan comes into play. Imagine a personal finance plan as your financial roadmap. It's a tool that helps you visualize your current financial status, set financial goals, and chart a course to achieve them. It's not set in stone, but rather a dynamic document that changes and evolves with your life circumstances. Creating a personal finance plan is like designing a blueprint for your dream house. It starts with setting your financial goals. What are your short-term goals? Maybe you want to pay off a credit card or save for a vacation. And your long-term goals? These could be saving for retirement, buying a house, or funding your children's education. Be specific with these goals and assign a dollar amount to each. Next, assess your current financial situation. This means understanding your income and expenses, your assets, and liabilities. This is your financial snapshot, the starting point of your journey. Then, it's time to create a budget. A budget is your financial compass. It helps you allocate your resources towards your goals while taking care of your necessities. Determine how much of your income will go towards essentials, savings, and discretionary spending. Now, you've set the course. But remember, a plan is only as good as its execution. Monitor your progress. Are you on track to meet your goals? If not, don't panic. Review your plan, make adjustments, and get back on track. Perhaps you need to cut back on discretionary spending, or maybe you can boost your income. The beauty of a personal finance plan is its flexibility. It allows for course corrections when life throws a curveball or when your goals change. It's a living document that grows with you, adapting to your evolving financial landscape. With a solid personal finance plan, you're well on your way to answering that million-dollar question. So there you have it, the basics of personal finance. We've journeyed together through the importance of understanding and managing your finances. We've looked at the four key aspects understanding your income and expenditure, and the significance of saving and investing. We've also discussed the importance of creating a personal finance plan. Remember, a well-thought-out plan is your roadmap to financial freedom. It's about setting clear, realistic goals and taking the necessary steps to achieve them. But don't be disheartened if things don't go as planned. It's okay to make adjustments along the way. The most important thing is to remain committed and keep your eyes on the prize. And while we're on the topic of prizes, let's not forget the million dollar dream, it's not out of reach. It's all about how well you manage what you have. Remember, personal finance is not about the amount of money you have, but how well you manage it. So start planning today and make your million dollar dream a reality. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.